All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So the one you've been waiting for is actually right here. It is the TCL 10 Pro. Now, a lot of you guys said that the uh, TCL 10 L was nice, uh, but you really wanted to see what this Pro was like. So here it is right here. So before I crack the box here, you've got a 6.47 inch Full HD AMOLED curve display. You've got HDR10 certification, 64 megapixel camera on the back as the main shooter, 6 gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage, and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery on this one. So we are going to crack this seal, and we're going to show you what it's about. And then we'll do some more detailed things as well. So let's crack the box open. Wow, folks, there's no way that you can't marvel at the way this phone looks. Now, this is going to be one of those situations where I wish I could show you in person. Wow, this 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 gradient color uh, is so beautiful. And if you just think about the OnePlus 7 Pro, the OnePlus 7T, this is what they're doing here. And just right, right away. This is going to be so awesome to use as a daily driver. Talk about premium. Now, this definitely is a metal frame, uh, unlike this version here with the TCL 10L. This is plastic. You can definitely tell this is metal. And again, having them here, uh, this Pro model, whoa. I mean, wow factor right off the rip, folks. This thing is incredible. It feels so premium. So you look to have uh, some sort of IR blaster on top right there. Uh, looks like a noise canceling microphone, a headphone jack up there, speaker type C and SIM tray on the bottom because this has curved sides and it really tapers off. It tapers off a lot. So that is uh, beautiful there. You've got the camera center mounted there, speaker grill up top. And you got the four cameras set up, and this time it's actually pretty flush, but the L the cameras are flush, but the LEDs poke out just a hair. There, you can feel the LEDs when you touch them, and then obviously you have uh, the laser uh, autofocus, uh, the laser uh, sensor there for. That's why this case is like this, cut out for that indention. So, let's power up here. You've got power and volume, and then you've got that dedicated button over here for assistant or whatever you program it to. And I am just, I'm just wild. Actually, let's put my SIM card in first. Because uh, well, a lot of people ask about service. And I do use these as a daily. If I could actually get a deep enough SIM card. Oh, I'll use, I'll use their SIM tray, SIM card tray uh, opener. Because I normally just keep a SIM tray around. Which is why theirs is so long. You can see mine is a little bit like that. And this was just a, a hair longer. So bear that in mind when you're popping these open, you're going to need a SIM tray ejection tool that is there. Now, one thing to note here is that this, I don't know that this has an IP rating, but it's definitely got a seal around the SIM tray like that. So that's pretty cool. We shall see, though. Uh, let's pop this in. and We'll pop it back in here. And now we'll power up this phone. And we'll take a look at the case, too and everything this is i think this phone is going to be so nice to use folks uh, tcl has definitely brought it with the pro model not to say that the l is bad in any kind of way it's just that this model here wow i got the case right here we'll try that on we'll get the device cleaned up and try it on um this model here whoa this hardware is so beautiful. Yeah, it gets a little bit of fingerprints every now and then, looks like, but wow, 
the wow factor is here. So it just powered on. Obviously, there's that stock logo, stock screen Android. So it's grabbing service up there, and there is 4G LTE. A lot of you guys asked about Wi-Fi calling on my other video. Um, I don't recall. I don't think this one has Wi-Fi calling, but I'm going to be using this one too, so we shall see. But now, let's clean this thing up for a second, and let's give you guys a little bit of eye candy before I start showing you this beautiful, beautiful device. Downtown, I got that heat, let's go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and I will be right back and we're going to get into this software. We'll talk more about specs in a little bit. What is up, folks? It's your man Jay, and it is time to talk about this TCL 10 Pro. Now, I actually had shot a full unboxing going through the specs, and then I started using the phone all day. Uh, I got this this, mor this morning, and it is now 8 p.m. Central Standard Time the same day. So, depending on when you're watching this, I'm actually, I've been pretty much using this phone since the morning time. I think I got it at like 9 o'clock or something like that. So almost 12 hours, it might have been 8.30, I don't, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm about 12 hours in with this phone. So again, I could do a, a my normal spill and unboxing, going through settings and all that stuff. But I took this thing around the block, man. I, I shot some quick little photos. I've been posting little things here and there on my Instagram and YouTube community page. Uh, and reality is this phone is getting ready to, if it doesn't wake up the industry, we just have a bunch of biased people in the industry. There's really no other way to say that. Now, obviously, you know, I have the TCL 10 L upstairs as well, and I put my SIM card in here. So this pro model feels incredible. I mean, it is just it's not too big, not too small. Now, let's be clear here. It does have a 6.47 inch display, so ultimately a 6.5 inch display. Uh, but the size of it, the way it feels in the hand, it just feels really good. Now, um, they do give you a case. So if you want to put on the case, you can. I do have mine sitting over there. Uh, but when I'm at home, I try to avoid wearing cases because I really want to feel the device. It's just I want to feel it in my hand and just not have any distractions from the, the premium feel of the phone. Now, speaking of premium feel, this phone is definitely a metal frame. Uh, it has a metal frame. It's got these nice flat edges on the top and bottom. And speaking of top, yes, that is an IR blaster. Uh, it's got the four camera set up in the back. And the, the crazy part about this one is the LEDs are kind of up uh, just a hair. Uh, and the cameras are completely flush, which is pretty much the opposite of the other phone. The entire camera system is raised off the phone. So when you put the case on that device, then you get this flush system that feels like this. But ultimately, talking about the cameras. Whoa. Whoa. I have been posting photos here and there. I've been taking 64 megapixel shots because this does have a 64 megapixel main shooter. And then I believe the front is a 24. 4 megapixel let me see here i believe it's a 24 megapixel on the front camera and man oh man um let's see here photos 24 megapixel so the front camera on this device folks it is absolutely fantastic just like the tcl 10l the one that supposed to cost 250 bucks now again disclaimer at the recording of this video neither one of these phones are out uh the uh the tcl 10l and the tcl 10 pro should be launching sometime in may and i will hint to you this for the price of my one plus eight i get both of these phones so that's 
that this could end up being the flagship killer, if you will, that we've all been waiting for. So, meaning um, you got a phone that performs well, looks good, got has really good cameras, and at the same time, um, it doesn't cost a lot. So. Ultimately, that's what we're looking for in the tech community. We're looking for things that don't cost a lot and offer the most. And that is where TCL has come in at. Again, they offer the TCL 10L and then this Pro model. It's definitely a Pro. I don't think that you can go wrong with the Pro model. Not that you can go wrong with the TCL 10L, but the Pro model, I think a lot of people are going to probably lean more towards this one. Uh, because right now, the only thing you have to go on is that people who got this phone uh, for review, we're telling you our opinion on it. And um, I haven't looked at anyone else's videos on this device, but what I will tell you is if you're here, you know that I'm going to try to be as honest as possible. Uh, if something's bad about it, I'm going to point it out. If it's something I just don't like about it, I'm going to point it out. And right now, this hardware, these cameras, the screen, curved 1080p AMOLED HDR10 display. Talk about good. Wow. I mean, I, I looked at, at um, an HDR10 video on Netflix and boy, was I impressed. I mean, watching content on this phone and this phone tapers off so much, by the way, on the sides, the SIM tray is on the bottom. That's how curved this phone is. The SIM tray is actually on the bottom of the device. Uh, and, and I think they did that for that reason. The phone tapers off into your hand so much and the curve is just so much. Uh, that it, they had to put it on the, the bottom of the phone. Uh, excuse me, it's got a Snapdragon 675 processor and I'm looking for things wrong. I mean, now when I review phones, I'm not just gonna just pass over everything and try to say, oh, it's fantastic because remember back in the day I used to do after the hype videos. Well, the after the hype videos was basically 24 hours later. Uh, and I gotta tell you, man, the side menu that they have on here, this is awesome and you can put a side menu on here uh, and add you, you've got a panel for applications. You got a panel for contacts and you got a ruler on the side Yeah, that design pretty much came from Samsung. You know, we, we know that Samsung That's that's not a Samsung feature and function But Samsung is known for doing that type of thing on their software. So this is another plus but I will say that TCL with this screen and this 4300 milliamp hour battery they're coming for you guys, man. They're coming for OEMs who are messing around in this price range. You're messing around in this price. If your phone costs $400 or 500 or less, you're messing around in this price range. You need to bring it because some will laugh at this phone and say, oh, it's got a Snapdragon 675. It's not going to be any good. Okay. You got to use it though. I think if you use this phone and this phone is definitely pretty close to stock, uh, as I could possibly think of, you can change this, um, uh, they have well, they have themes on here, but there's only two themes, and one is to change the icons to square, and the and, and the other one is round. So obviously, I like the round icons. But in the app tray, you can change it uh, their launcher to to decide to how you want to uh, have the icons appear in uh, the app tray. And I like this version right here, where it's by category. I think this is pretty cool. It's just a whole bunch of uh, little simple things that they do on this phone. Overall, I'm expecting to get even better battery life than I got on the TCL 10L. But I, I personally think that this Pro model, and it comes in a green color as well. I like this gradient gray though. And this, this reminds me, if you've held the OnePlus 7 Pro or the OnePlus 7T, this is going to feel like the OnePlus 7T. That is what this is going to feel like. So. I don't know. Cameras are impressive. Battery seems like it's going to be really good. Uh, the screen is all the way impressive. And, you know, it has a single bottom firing speaker, but it has an IR blaster. Uh, and the, the NXT Vision, I think that um, TCL is really coming for people. They are coming for your heads with this phone right here. The other one, yeah, it's trying to, it's doing its thing in, in the mid range or lower tier. I don't see how that is, but uh, this Pro model is going to be something special. So my first impressions of this phone, I'm totally impressed. I thought I would be impressed, but I didn't know how much I would be impressed. So there you have it, man. I hope you enjoyed a few photo samples if I threw them in here, video samples if I put it in here. But for sure, these cameras are something to be 
focus on. Uh, people nowadays, uh, I've heard people say, well, every phone has a good camera now. Not every phone, but the front camera on this thing is incredible. So it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed TCL 10 Pro. It's really good. It is. I'm trying to reserve a lot of the excitement and judgment of the device because it's only I'm still in my first day. But I think by the time I give you a 72 hours on this phone, I'll be to cycle the battery two more times more than likely, or at least once more. And I'll have some idea of how I feel about this phone after three days. So that video, you should probably look for it on Sunday evening sometime because today is Thursday at the recording of this video. So by Sunday, I will try to have you a 72 hours uh, follow up on this device. But for now, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.